Signs like this one posted at a dozen popular town and state beaches Friday, all but one of them fresh water, advising of elevated fecal levels that could make people sick. With E. coli, it's typically um, a gastroenteritis type of symptom, upset stomach, vomiting, that, that kind of route. Saw the sign and she's 10 months, so we decided we'll just enjoy the playscape instead and save us from the risk of her getting sick. But Tuckaway State Park on the list this morning, but off tonight. After safe level results came back late today, a fluid situation with daily follow-up testing by the Department of Environmental Service Water Division's BEACH program. Its coordinator says it's their busiest week so far, but results aren't uncommon. We've had like big rain events and then hot weather. Um, we can have elevated E. coli levels in the water just near the beach. They're also testing levels of naturally occurring toxin cyanobacteria, visible as scum on small freshwater lakes and ponds. Six with elevated levels this week, also the most so far this year. Province Lake, there's two types that you can see here. Chronic exposure, and dangers for people and pets. And, and this one can cause nervous system failure, and this has been a type that has caused dogs to die. 100 popular town and state beaches are tested by the program and again this one results this afternoon came back that it has safe levels so those experts stress that you check the state's program website and we have a link at WMUR.com. We're live at Northampton State Beach, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.